Hey guys, we are here with another video for Artsy Trio and it is late Sunday afternoon and I got an idea for what I'm gonna do with this month's mood board. So we're gonna just go ahead and film that. Which is funny because I created the mood board and then I looked at it and went, hmm. <laughs> but I think I know what I wanna do. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, <coughs> well, I already did the first thing. I printed out the mood board and of course I pasted it over here in our journal that we've been using for these and that I've been um, doing my art experiments and I leave notes and um, put paint swatches, what colors and everything. So I've already got that glued in. I'm gonna take some painter's tape and after I put it on my clothes once, we are gonna tape off. Ugh. A rectangle so hopefully we get a nice clean border I have mixed luck with this so we will see what happens I put it on my clothes before sticking it down because even though it's painter's tape, sometimes I find that it tries to pull the paper. Okay, we're gonna use, because of the mood board, we're gonna use varying shades of blue. I have a little bit of yellow and some white and some scrap paper. So, first thing we're gonna do is do a background. So I'm going to take some of this, these are all gouache acrylics, so, or matte acrylics, so they all have a very matte finish. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that one, and some white. Oh, as chips of paint fall off, there we go. I think I'm gonna use this blue, which is just called blue medium. Um, what's this one? Deep navy. Yeah, let's do a little bit of navy. Let's do a little bit of this one, which has a little bit of a green hue. And it's green blue. Um, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do the turquoise. We have some yellow. And a little bit of gray. I'm not sure I'm gonna want this tan color or not. Um, we'll leave it out. I'm not sure I'm gonna want it or not. Let's see, we're gonna put, for when we make notes, we'll put all the colors that I'm using to the left and these two to the right. There we go, that'll work. Okay, I'm going to need a little circle. Something that's in the shape of a circle. Not a very big circle. So I guess I better get a hole punch out. Hang on. Okay, I need a little circle for what we're going to do. And I took a glassine bag, which is just sitting. I have a million of them, and this is just a junk one. And I put two pieces of um, the blue painter's tape on it. I need one more piece of tape. Or I need to cut that, so. I can get the punch closer to the tape. Okay, so then let's see if it works. Yep, so then I'm gonna punch a circle, maybe. Or at least make a mark. Oh, it did sort of punch. Come on. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, but I just kind of want it as close as possible. Okay. So the very first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to take 
couple of different brushes. I don't know exactly which brushes I'm gonna end up using, but we'll find out as we go. And I'm gonna take the yellow. And just paint a circle and make sure it's bigger than your tape. Okay. Then we'll dry that. Okay. Now we're going to stick our masking tape circle on there. Should peel off the glassine bag fairly easily because of the bag's waxy surface. There we go. I'm going to put it over the yellow tape, the paint, I mean. Okay, there we have it. Now, we're gonna take some of these other colors and I'm gonna start lighter and work my way darker. I'm gonna take a little bit of the white mixed with the green blue. Oops. And try not to go over onto the part that I bothered masking off, which I've already screwed up, so, you know. Came off. Okay, let's be a little bit more careful. Okay. I'm going to add some of the darker light blue. I'm gonna dry that. Okay, I'm going to take some of the white. And some of the two blues. Can you tell where I'm going with this? Are you still guessing? Okay, we'll dry it again. I'm going to tear it. And place it here. I'm going to take the same brush we've been using and some of the light blue and a little bit of the next darker blue. Dry that. I'm trying to decide if I want to tear a new piece. Let's tear a new piece. Okay. We will take that that blue and a little bit of the darkest blue that we picked. Do the same thing. Dry. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna take one of these. No idea if this is going to work. Let's hope we don't mess it up now. <laughs> Take the darkest blue and the gray. And 
I'm gonna dry that so I don't mess it up. Take this piece and line it up like that. Sure, I like that. I need another piece of scrap paper. That's okay, we'll work it out. ripping up various kinds of garbage paper. Oops. I'm going to just go in and darken this up a little bit. Okay, and by the same token, I'm going to lighten this up a bit. much gray. <laughs> of course it is. This brush just has water on it, by the way, no paint. Okay, and then I wanna grab a little bit of yellow, but I don't think there's much left on the palette now. Let's try to get a little bit. Don't need much. Add some depth by just adjusting the colors a little bit. Okay. I think it might be time to take the paint off. You ready to see what this looks like? Let's put the cap on the paint. 
so we don't make a bigger mess. Let's dry it first. Okay, let's take the tape off. Now, one thing about having to dry it is the tape helps loosen up the, I mean the heat gun, it helps loosen up the tape. Not too bad. We've got a little bit under the tape, but it's not too horrible. Okay, remember the circle. So I do want to adjust that just a little bit. I'll take some of these lighter blue colors that we used. That's cute, I like that. Okay, um, we're gonna do some journaling around the edge. Let me grab a pen. Let's use this one. I'm gonna start over here. Actually, I should start by drying that before I stick my hand in something. Okay. I love that. You could very easily do this technique with paper. Rather than doing the paint, you could tear strips of paper and do the same thing with paper and then journal around it what it means to you. I didn't think about that. I didn't pre-plan it. What I wrote around the edges is just what literally came out this second. And yes, I almost spelled there wrong. Because yeah, anyway, and I may still have spelled it wrong, but it's gonna be what it is now. All right, so now we're gonna take notes over here on what we did and why we did it. So let me do that and I'll be right back.
Okay, that's it. Let's see if I can get more of it in camera. There we go. I love the way that turned out. That was so good. Um, that's actually something I would do on a bigger scale, on a bigger painting too. How fun would that be? It would look great hanging over a bed in a, in a guest room or a fireplace. Yeah, I could see doing a big one of those. Anyway, which is the whole point of this book is to experiment with ideas, techniques, composition, color palettes. I would probably not think of just using blues with a splash of yellow in a color palette um, without this whole artsy trio thing, which is the point of it. And so we are hoping you're inspired and it's encouraging you to be creative. Please check out the other two videos by my two fellow teachers, Mike Deacon and Bea Grubb. Um, and if you're not in the artsy trio Facebook group, the link is down below along with their video links. So check it out. Um, my link tree list of links to support the free content here on YouTube, uh, including my Patreon, uh, my social media stuff. All of it is my, in my link trade list of links, which is all down below. Check out the video description. My ha happy mail address is down there. Just start clicking on stuff. You'll find things. And if you have questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them here on the video. I do respond to every single one. And I hope this gives you a burst of inspiration. And um, if you do post something and you're inspired by this mood board or another one, and you want to make sure I see it and the other teachers tag us in the post. All right, that's it for today. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.